In this section, we're going to create our database. Um, we actually already created it, the, the actual database, but we haven't added any tables yet. Okay, so the first table I want to create is categories. And that's going to have three fields. We're going to have an ID, which will be 11. And that's going to be the primary key and auto increment. Next will be the name which will be Varchar, and we'll set that at 100 max characters. Next we have created, which will just be the date that it was created. That's going to be a timestamp, and we're also going to set the default to current timestamp. Okay, so, whoop, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so there is our categories our categories table. Next let's do articles and this is going to have 10 columns. So we'll have an ID, it's going to be the primary key and have, it's going to be auto increment. Next will be the category ID and that's basically going to be the foreign key for the categories table and then we'll have a user ID from the users table and then we want a title and I'll set that to 255 body is going to be a text field um, access this is basically going to tell us if uh, everyone can access it or a certain group. Um, so I'm going to set the length to 4 and we're going to have a default of 0. So as defined, 0. And 0 ju is just going to mean it's available to everybody. Anyone can read it. Okay, next we'll have is published. And that's going to be a tiny int with one length of one because this is going to be it's always going to be a one or a zero and the default is going to be one okay when we create an article we want it to be published alright next we'll have in menu and this will tell it if we want our article to be part of the menu or not this is also going to be tiny int um, of one and we're going to define this uh, as zero because we don't want it automatically create um, added to the menu. Uh, next we'll have order. This will be for the menu order. We'll say 11 and then finally created. This will be a timestamp. Current timestamp. Okay, that looks good. Let's save. Alright, so um, let's see, the next one, the next table I want to create is groups. Alright, and groups is going to have two columns. It's just going to have an ID and a name. Say 100, and then the ID will be primary and auto increment. Okay, next we'll do users, and users is going to have eight, eight columns. So we'll have an ID, of course, ID, we'll have first name, let me just do all these, last name, username, email, password, group, and created. Okay, so first name, fire child, let's do a hundred for these. Actually, username, I'm going to do 20. 
email group actually let's make this group ID and then created will be a timestamp current timestamp so the last table we want to create is the settings table it's gonna have three columns it's gonna have an ID it's gonna have a key and a value okay so every th every setting will have a key and a value for instance the key may be site title and the value would be sample site okay so that's gonna be the basic format the key is gonna be a varchar we'll say 255 and the value I'm just gonna put text um, because I don't want to put a limit on it okay that's good all right, so there's our database schema. Now I just want to insert some sample data, and you can find uh, this SQL data inside of the SQL snippets.txt file for the program files for this section. Um, so I'm going to go to my database view and then to import, I'm sorry, SQL. And I'm just going to paste these in. Like I said, you can find them in your program files. This is just going to insert some articles. Okay, um, next I'm going to insert a couple of categories. All right, next um, some groups. Basically, I think it's just na uh, registered and admin. Yep. and uh, settings and then finally some users I think there's two users um, group oh this should be group ID group ID There we go. All right, so now we have some info. We have some content inside of our database that we can work with. So that should be it. We have our database created with some sample data, and we already configured the database file in CodeIgniter, so we're already connected. Um, so now we'll get into uh, building some controllers and also linking views.